you sorry you join me again when we're going to be looking at the in-game essential signs this is the uh, another part of essentials uh, which mostly uses the economy side of it but there are a few signs that you don't have to pay for and don't fit into economy like the warp signs but first of all this is my spawn house if you've seen my last video I set this as my spawn but I also want people to be able to heal themselves in this so I'm going to put a heal like that in the square brackets top line leave a uh, next line and then put how much I want it costs them to heal so I can do 50 quid and it turns out blue that means it's done correct if it turns out red it means you've done something wrong and yeah you're going to have to redo that but as you can see I'm in creative mode so let me just change my game mode and as I said most of this uses uh, the uh, economy so to check how much money you have you type slash balance like this and press enter and as you can see I'm quite loaded because I made the server so I should be so let me just damage myself just to show you that the heal sign works there you go I've lost two hearts down the bottom of the screen you can see that so I'm just going to click the heal sign and they've they've refilled I'm now healed um, there are several different signs, I'll show you most of them, but some of them aren't as necessary. This is the time sign, where you can set the dime to be, let's put, day. Make one for day, and that'll be 50 quid if you want to make it day. Time day. Oh, let me just change my game mode again. Sorry. Uh, and then... And make another one for the time night and then oh sorry time night and then that'll be 50 quid as well both come out blue so let's hit this one and as you can see it's turned to night and then hit this one and it's turned to day this one isn't very good considering that anyone can use it but if you use permissions as like I've taught sort you how to set up you can make it so any admins can use this or a certain class, uh, so it's kind of helpful, but not always. Uh, I'll show you the spawn mob uh, sign. This one, you just the first one, in the first line, you put a square bracket, and then you type spawn mob in square bracket. Next line is the amount, so let's do one the mob type so let's do zombie and then the cost so let's do it's a tenner should come out blue and you left click and ooh, oh yeah it's day in it the zombie has been spawned this can this second sorry this third line can be changed to any type you want obviously so in the second and the third but that's down to your discretion um, another one is the warp signs which can be set up uh, if someone has a faraway house you can set a warp but like a teleport so the person doesn't have to constantly walk to the house uh, so you create a warp by typing forward slash set warp and then the name so we'll name this here spawn and then it should say warp set uh, so I'm gonna go over here uh, let's go over here yeah and create another warp over here set warp test warp test set and then you put down your sign again first line is warp in square brackets and then you type the name so I just created one over there called spawn it goes blue so now it should shoot me over there when I click it and I'm over here and the same thing again if I want to get back to where I just was it's warp and then test and it's gone blue, we go back and this can be set up multiple times there's not really a limit, it just obviously lags your server up if you put loads in uh, right, so now let's go into a little bit oh ooh, sorry, no we have one more sign the weather sign so let's do weather spelled properly uh, let's do sun and the cost, so that costs a tenner to change it to sunny 
and then we'll do another one just to show you that it changes. Weather uh, storm, I think that's a type, and then that's also a tenor. And you can set up. So left click, rain, mm. and then that one. Oh yeah, there we go. Sorry, rain takes the time to uh, get rid of. Don't know why, but it does. Right, let's do a little bit in the essentials eco, like trade signing. So this is going to be a shop here, and rather than people constantly typing slash balance to find out what their balance is, you can put a sign, this is like a little cash register I've got here, and then put balance on the first line in square brackets, and done. Comes up blue. And your player just has to left click it, and as you can see, it's come up. I didn't type that, I just clicked the sign. Uh, this is a good way for players also here, I can set up a, a free sign, so if I want a player to get a, a free item or anything, uh, so you do free and then the item ID, so let's put dirt, I want them to get dirt, it comes up blue. With this one, uh, when you left click, it comes up with full stacks of 64, and I'm greedy, so I'm going to nickel that. But as you can see when I go back in, it refills. So you could set this up with a spawn and put it with cobblestone and people can take as much as they want and it's useful. Uh, and also another thing we can set up is the disposal sign. This is very useful as it does exactly the same as uh, it said, sorry, it does exactly what you think it says. It disposes of any items that you put inside. So disposal again, top line with the square brackets, it comes out blue. You click it and it opens a, a chest. And let's put in some of this dirt, I don't want all that. You come back out of it, like you usually would with a chest by pressing E. When you left click it again, it's empty. So it auto disposes of all of it. So it's always empty, the same as this one is always full. Right, so let's create a little shop here. So I want someone to be able to sell to the server a particular item. Uh, I'm not really sure what. We'll think about that in a bit. So the first line. I want to sell is sell in square brackets. You leave a line. The amount that you want uh, the player to be able to sell, so in chunks, so we'll put, we'll let them sell four, four dirt at a time. The item ID, so you put that as dirt or five, that's wood, one, but I find it easier with the name because then the players that are selling knows exactly what it is rather than the data value. And then the cost, so how much money they will get when they sell it. So let's say 30 this is completely outrageous I would never put 30 for 4 dirt but this is just for showing purposes only so done comes out blue and as you can see that was 64 there like the others that's 60 now and I now have 30 pounds been added to my account so once again that was 60 that's now 58 and 30 quid more has been added to my bank account and so on you can create loads of these signs and create a little shop if you want a particular player to be able to buy off the server, you can do buy in a square bracket. And then it's pretty much the same as the um, sell sign. You then do the amount that you want to sell. So let's do five. Uh, the item ID. So let's do diamond. And then how much. So let's say for five diamonds, it costs £400. You then, comes up blue, left click again. And as you can see, £400 has been taken from your account and now I now have five diamond added in my inventory and now the same thing added again uh, this is pretty much about it for the essentials signs uh, if any if anything goes wrong uh, put it in the YouTube comments and I'll try and help uh, so remember to subscribe like the video and keep coming back for more videos on plugins so bye